welcome to Vlogmas. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I decided to sit down and do a front facing video. I know you guys haven't seen my face on here other than vlogs for a while. Um, so I decided to do this one. Um, in all transparency, this is my second time filming this because my first one was super dark. I have no idea what happened and my audio sucked. It's not going to be much better because I can't find my speaker all of a sudden. So, um, or my mic, don't know where that went to. Um, but here we are. So I wanted to come on because obviously this time of year is definitely um, when all planners are thinking about their 2021 planners. And of course I am also, I've been thinking about it and I just really wanted to come on here and chat with you guys about um, where my head is with my own planner. And maybe this is where you guys are too, um, who knows. But one thing I do know is I'm not changing it up much. Um, I found something that halfway works for me um, in this season. And that is one thing that I think I've really learned in 2020 is that my planner might change several times. Um, I started out this year in this planner um, with a... Um, HP vertical, HP vertical or HP hourly. I can't remember exactly which I have to go back. Um, which I'm about to do a 2020 flip through for you guys too. So that will be fun. Hopefully I can find all of that. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I started out in an HP vertical or hourly. I'm not sure exactly. I quickly figured out that like something was wrong. Something was not working. I don't know. Um, and found that if I got the EC binder edition, that I could just punch the HP disc into it. And that worked amazing. So that is what I did. And I started with the EC hourly. Thought it was going to change me or no. Yes, no, no. I started with the EC vertical. That's it because what I thought I needed was that little space in between the EC. Here, I can show you. Um, that little space right oh, here in between the verticals. I thought I just, for some reason, my this was catching my eye a lot. So I switched over to this. As you can see, I'm still using it a little bit. Weeklies are not everything to me um and i want to use them more but they're just not working that well for me um i'm using them mainly as a, a memory keeper um slash see my week in a glance type thing um and then but not using them all that much definitely so i went from that to an ec hourly i believe stop doing that because i didn't like the lines um, and then the EC Hourly did not have, I didn't like the way the stickers fit in them because then now they don't have that line in the middle. So went back to a regular vertical. Then the EC um, Daily Duo made its appearance and intrigued me. I never thought that I would be a daily planner. And here I am. Um, I believe in the EC Daily Duo inspirational uh, Facebook group somebody put a template a PDF template in there to like help people see if they liked it or not I took that printed it off ended up loving it the only thing that didn't work for me obviously was the time so I do not get up at six <laughs> um, nor would I even if I did get up at six would I be doing anything at six so I needed to change the times from eight to nine so I took that template changed it also added a ton more. So if you'll see, this is the template. Also added a ton more to do's. And now I divide each of my dailies. I'll show you on today's. Uh, let's do yesterday's, I guess I should do yesterday's. Um, I divide them into home, YouTube. Hopefully you can see that YouTube, Etsy and photography. So those are my four things that I need to get done. Everything for the home, everything for my shop, everything for YouTube, and everything for my photography business. And then I rate them in like 
priorities. So if Etsy is a priority that day, I put it at the top. YouTube's a priority and then the least priority, obviously. Guys, this has been working amazingly. The only problem, like I said, is I can't see a week in, in a glance. Like I can't be like, okay, Friday I have an appointment. So I don't know if I need to get more used to looking at my monthly or if I need to figure out some type of way to get like a week in a glance, something or other. If you have uh, a suggestion, let me know in the comments below. So speaking from that, where are we going for 2021? I'm sticking with the dividers. I'm sticking with disc. Um, I'm changing my disc. Uh, I don't know exactly what color. I have a color in mind. Keeping a cover, I'm gonna get a new cover because I, at first I was like, why even switch? Like you're pretty much gonna be doing the same thing. And I'm like, nope, I'm gonna get the joy of having a new planner, right? Because like the new year, everybody, that's like the planner thing is like, we all want this new planner. So I wanna get excited. I wanna set it up. I'm probably gonna set it up for like January through July or January through June, uh, probably through June and do that. So what else has been working for me is my meal plan section. So I monthly meal plan um, one month at a time. Uh, you can see those videos right up here. I'll put that up there, here or there. I don't know, wherever they'll be. <laughs> um, I monthly meal plan and that has been working fantastic for me. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to get monthly inserts from. I might just get them from Etsy or make them or I don't know exactly how that's going to work at this point. Um, but I am going to be doing that. I don't think that I need to buy an HP planner just to get the monthlies. Really? So I don't know if I'll do that. The third part of my planner that has hands down changed my life this year is my budget planner. So they're the budget section, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't seen, I'm sure you have, if you subscribe to this channel, I do a ton of budgeting um, videos and it has changed our lives pretty much. Um, I no longer feel insecure about money. I know that we have money sitting there in sinking funds. It's been amazing. So that will definitely be going in there. I am changing it up a little tiny bit. I mean, just a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna be using a monthly spread. If I do, I might just buy the monthly deluxe binder edition from EC so I can punch them just so that I can th get the monthly, but I don't even know if I'm doing that. So I'm, I've gotta look into that. Um, but otherwise I just use HP note, uh, month, uh, note pages. And therefore, I don't really need to invest anything for that. So that's awesome. And my fourth section will be my social media. Um, this one is an ebb and flow. I use it definitely, I'm using it a lot right now, even though I'm like way off schedule and, you know, it happens. <laughs> um, like this video was not even planned. I just planned it. Um, but it will definitely be in there. I am going to be using it as a combination of photography, YouTube, and Etsy. Um, I have definitely been working a ton on my Etsy shop and have gotten into a calendar structure in my Etsy shop and has been working so much more. I feel more in control of my shop and there's a bunny outside and um it's just it's been working a lot better so i'll be keeping that in there um and i don't do much for my photography business on paper um that's mainly in like my client management program but um i definitely want to keep track of I need to be better on social media for my photography business. So that's one thing that ever since I was really good in past years, but 2020 is, you know, I fell off. So we're going to get better on that. Otherwise, that is what my planner is going to look like for 2021. So there will be four sections. It will be a catch all daily planner, a meal plan, monthly spreads pretty much. So monthly meal planner, a budget section, which is pretty much going to consist of maybe monthly spreads and just note pages and my uh, social media planner. The other thing that I really want to change is a little bit of the style of my planner. 
I am really going for that typology um, look, uh, basic, very, um, I guess, cloth and paperish. I think it's, you know, it is a little bit of a, a trend, but it's always been something that I've always gravitated to. I have a lot of art in my house that is typography looking. Um, I've always been attracted to like the letterboard lookish, um, and not so much, you know, like the cartoon ish part. I don't know how to like, I don't know how to describe that, but that is what it's going to be. Um, not so much like motivational quotes, but definitely like we need to do this <laughs> and you can do it. So yeah, I think that's what my 2021 planner is going to be like. Guys, it just, I sat here for a while trying to figure it out and trying to figure out if I was actually going to do something. And at first I wasn't. Like at first I was just like, I don't even care. <laughs> like it was getting that bad. Like I'm just like, I just want, I don't know. I don't know if things are going to be normal in January. My kids are still going to be home, homeschooling until the end of January. I pray that they go back at the end. Um, They need to. Um... And then maybe life can get back to a little bit of normalcy in this household. Otherwise, like, like my 13 year old has not, I mean, he doesn't leave this house. <laughs> my little guy used to, he went to school for like a couple of weeks. My 13 year old legit doesn't leave the house unless I like drag him out to like an event like today. So thank you guys so much for being here. I would love to hear what your planners are going to be like. Um, I have definitely pulled away from the HP craze. I am barely using HP stickers anymore. I have so many sticker books. I probably need to stash them. Um, I sit there and I look at them and like, why did you buy so many of these? Um, but it was what I was into. Um, but they just don't fit my planning style anymore. I'm, I just didn't know how functional planning I was going to be. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll still use them for memory planning and all that kind of stuff. Um, because I am jumping back into that for 2021 and actually I already am. Um, cause I definitely want to get back into that, but that even might more look like scrapbooking than memory planning. So stay tuned for that. That's a whole nother thing. Um, my boys are just getting older, so I have a little bit more time to jump back into that. I used to scrapbook all the time. So anyways, I'm going to wrap that up because <laughs> I'm diving off into other things. But thank you so much for being here and chatting with me today. Um, we are about to run out to a holiday event outside. Um, hopefully not freeze and get wet because it might rain. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new here and welcome to Vlogmas. And if you um, like this type of video, definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know what your planners are going to be in the comments below. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon.